how much money have I made from YouTube in September. Now, I wasn't gonna make this video, but I thought, yeah, whatever. It could be a cool content, but besides just telling you how much I've earned, I actually wanna give you some tips and cover a few other points. What I'm gonna be discussing, the difficulties I had in September, the reason it was that much money, the reason why my channel kicked off and is now getting this much money and this many views compared to how much I was getting six months ago, and the most important topic, which is motivation. And finally, we can go and check out the analytics and see how much I'm making and how much I'm making per view and why it's that amount of money. Before I get straight into the video, don't forget to hit that like button. Apparently, it does wonders for me with the YouTube algorithm. So, and it only takes a couple of seconds for you. So, you know, hit that like button and let's get right into the video. Starting with the difficulties I had in September. So I think the biggest difficulty for me and for most YouTubers is finding motivation to actually create videos and spend the time to create really good videos. And there's been a whole bunch of studies that show you know, a release of dopamine when you get comments, likes, shares, views, all these kind of things. So it's very normal for one person to be down if they don't get what they expected. So if I you know, have come to expect a certain amount of views or comments or likes or whatever and I don't get them, it's very normal for me to feel a bit depressed in a way. So as September was quite a slow month for me, I had those feelings quite often, which is really annoying. But one thing that's really important is you have got to just push through, you've got to get past the hump and you know continue to create, continue to upload and hopefully things will just start going up again. Another huge difficulty for me in September is September is my busiest month in just terms of work and life. So sticking to my schedule of Sunday, Tuesday, Thursday and Saturday was really, really difficult, like really difficult. There were days where I was just like, I can't make a video, but you know, thankfully I actually pushed through and I was able to make a video and stick to my schedule and I think, and, and that was just September, moving forward it should be a lot easier throughout the rest of the year, but I think moving forward I'm going to stick to my schedule and if I come up with a video idea that I just want to post that isn't you know, part of the regularly scheduled broadcasting, then I'll just post it on any day at any time. So I'll still post my schedule, but sometimes I'll post an extra video. So the reason it was this amount of money was because of the number of videos I was posting. I was posting four videos a week and generally more videos equals more views and more views equals more money. Assuming, you know, the quality stays good and you're getting views every single video. If you're starting to lose views, then you've got to, to reevaluate what you're doing and what you're doing wrong and hopefully, you know, try and make it a bit better. So for me, my, my aim, my long-term aim is to hire an editor, full-time editor to work alongside me. That way I can just produce as much content as possible, really good quality content, you know, post daily if I, that would be the dream to post daily and to have an editor working, you know, beside me to edit those videos and that way I can focus just on the content. So why did my channel suddenly take off from when it used to get, you know, 300 views per video back in March to now getting nearly 3,000 views per video if it's a good video. So what was that defining factor in my YouTube career that made that happen? Well, I think a lot of it is down to this video. In this video, I spoke about how print on demand, how I made $70,000 with print on demand in just a few short months. And that really kickstarted the print on demand aspect of my YouTube channel. And the reason I was able to actually go and find out this information is I embarked on a 100 day challenge way back at the beginning of the year. And this allowed me to try out a whole bunch of different niches, ideas, shooting styles, backgrounds, all these different types of things to see what stuck. And what seemed to be sticking were the print on demand videos, right? Everyone was really loving the print on demand videos. They were loving the advice. So that is how I continued, right? I predominantly made print on demand videos and occasionally made videos in other areas. And I think that is really what, you know, kickstarted the huge growth of this channel. And now that the channel is slightly bigger, I actually want to start bringing content about affiliate marketing, uh, Amazon FBA, YouTube, other business practices, you know, money management, f you know, investing, all these other kind of things. And I know that is going to get me less views overall, 
uh, because those videos aren't as popular on my channel, but I think, I think it's worth it because it's really good knowledge that I feel a lot of you would really enjoy. Back in February, I was earning around 160 pounds per month on YouTube. And just a few months before that, I was earning 70 pounds a month on YouTube. So you can see I've really come a long way with my channel. And I think that's due to the fact that I've just kept going even through the months where I made basically nothing every single month. It's all about that perseverance and you know just determination to continue through. And I think it's like that with everything. So even though I wasn't getting any comments or basically no views and no likes or anything, despite all of that, you know, pushing through really did big things. And like I said, I think it's like that with everything, with any business, with anything you do. For example, when I started snowboarding, I was snowboarding for ages before I got even remotely good, and I'm still not that good, but before I got remotely good, and there were so many times where I fell, and I had some really, really bad falls. For example, this one. <laughs> Shimmy, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, good. Really hurt. But I knew if I continued, I would eventually get good and eventually I wouldn't be falling as often and it would become a lot more fun. So I think if someone can adopt that mentality of just persevering through any hardships, they will eventually succeed. Right, let's get to the fun stuff, the YouTube analytics. So you can see in September, YouTube paid me £2,517.43, pence, which is around $3,255. That is huge for me, huge. And if we go into the revenue tab, you can see my CPM was 27 pounds and 78 pence. CPM basically means the cost per 1,000 views. So every 1,000 views, that is like my take home money, except not really. My actual take home money is £14.91, so that's after YouTube has taken their cut. Now, this £27.78 is determined on a lot of different things. It's determined on the location of the viewers, the niche you're in, the number of ads in your video. For example, a 10-minute video will do far better than a five-minute video. A video on Amazon FBA will do far better than a video on fitness, and someone viewing in the United States will be a bit better for you than someone viewing in Italy. So as I said, the real take home is £14.91 per 1,000 views. So let's have a look at some of the, the, the data here. 95.6% is skippable, skippable, skippable video ads, which is really cool to see because those are the ads that you get at the beginning of your video that people skip and it's still cool to see that 95% is where the money is coming from. Now, I think this is quite cool. So revenue sources, this is the ad revenue, 2496. And this is the YouTube premium. So this is people who have signed up for YouTube premium to not have ads and to be able to download stuff and all these kind of things. And that's actually made 21 pound 12 pence. So I think that's really cool as well. So having a look at my biggest earners, in September, my biggest earner was comparing every print-on-demand company, which makes a lot of sense. I put so much effort into that video. It took me ages to shoot. It took me ages to prepare and actually edit. So it makes a lot of sense that I put a lot of effort into a video and it did well. And that's usually the correlation with YouTube. You put a lot of effort into a video, it does well. And that made £310.11, which is nearly, what well, is £90 more than the previous video for this period of time, just September. So I think that's really, really interesting to see. So most of these stats are really, really cool to see. And you can see the last six months, May was 834. And if we see more, it really goes down. Okay, like I said, in, in, in January time, it's nearer the 70 to £100 mark, how much I was earning. And if we actually click see more, Let's have a look at at that. So if we go all the way down to um, October, October last year, that's a year ago, it was 30 pounds a month, right? January started to shoot up 163 pounds, but December was 92, 84, but it's just crazy. A year ago today, it was 30 pounds a month. Now I think those stats are really, really cool. And I mean, you might not agree with me, but I think they're quite impressive regardless. Um, we're missing out quite a big number. We're missing out $1,744.21 from that total made in September. So where's that money come from? Well, that money has come from affiliate promotions. And I have you to thank for that because those two affiliate 
promotions were Place It in Canva. So I just wanna say a massive thank you to anyone who's actually bought through my link in the month of September and obviously any month. Uh, I just wanna say a massive thank you. Um, I hope you're enjoying the tool. I think it's really, really cool. And like I said, I use the tool on a daily, on a daily basis and I think it's brilliant. So a cool $1,744 has come from affiliate marketing. So when you add the two together, that is what makes the total of $5,251.67. That is my September earnings from YouTube. Let me know what you think in the comments of this style of video. The idea of this video was more to motivate you to not necessarily do YouTube, but to do anything you're doing and to put your all in it and not give up anytime soon. So let me know if any of this rubbed off and you got even a tiny bit motivated to persevere with something you're doing. Let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for watching.